So today we're going to be talking about the blue crayon, and the blue crayon's actually not in your textbook, but it's one of my favorite subjects. And I'll be honest, um, as little as I actually know and understand about Islamic art and Islamic text, I've always been fascinated by this. So what is a Quran? Well, it's a core Islamic text, which Muslims believed was revealed by Muhammad, by God, between 609 and 632. So remember, Muhammad spoke the word of God. Um, so CE, something that I haven't mentioned before, means common era, and it actually just means the same thing as after Christ. So this sacred work that we're looking at describes God and humankind's relationship to him. It also gives us direction of what to follow to achieve peace in this life and thereafter. The text has 114 chapters. This blue crayon was found dating from the 9th or 10th century. It's written in Kufa text or Kufic text, which is the earliest form of Arabic script, and that was developed around the 7th century. It's one of many copies, but this particular copy is very original because it's got this beautiful blue indigo colored paper against the gold writing. There have been many other Qurans written with silver or gold on dark paper, but this particular writing is also very elongated and artistic. It's almost like a painting of its own. This version of the Qur'an would have been expensive to create. The indigo paper and the gold were actually very expensive materials to use, and this suggests that it was commissioned by a very wealthy patron. Little is actually known about when, where, and how the blue crayon was produced, although it is speculated that it may have been produced by the Umayyad. And the most widely accepted theory is that it was commissioned for a great mosque of Chiron in Tunisia. Today, the piece has been divided up belonging to different museums, most, however, in the Bardo National Museum of Tunis, located in Tunisia.